guys ready to go into town? Because I am. Girls, here we come. <laughs> Ven, mamacita linda, dale un besito a tu papito. I'm trying to study. Oh, oh. Scarlett, why don't you knock off studying one night, man? And come on into town with us and get down. <laughs> I couldn't do that. Why not? Listen, there's this cute waitress over at the Ship Ahoy Cafe, and none of us can ever get the first base with her. Why don't you try? Skolnick? You think Jackie would go for Skolnick? Who knows? Maybe she digs distortion. All right, you guys, let's go. Y'all going to town, right? That's yep, right. 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 Okay, well, there's two things you better keep in mind if you know what's good for you. There's two things to keep in mind that I know is good for me. Margaritas and mamacitas. <laughs> okay, now, that's what I'm talking about. Drinking and women. You're not old enough to know how to drink yet, and you gotta be careful with what kind of women you associate with. Because if you're not careful, well, you might catch something. <laughs> you mean like the flu? <laughs> Yeah, Kowalski, the flu. So before you go out with the girl, Kowalski, be sure you take a contact. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, remember, you men have been warned about drinking and women. So if you go to a movie, be sure and wash your hands if you're going to eat popcorn. <laughs> well, <laughs> have fun, you guys. Hey, uh, thanks a lot, Pruitt. You really got us all pepped up. Oh, man, he's a square. Come on, muchachos, we're going to have fun. Mamacitas, here we come! <laughs> Skolnick, what went through here? An Eskimo and his dog sled? <laughs> well, that was just the fellas going into town. Sounded like a bunch of timber wolves in heat. <laughs> How come you didn't go? I'd rather stay here and study. Now that I'm in photography school, I'm really serious about it. I'm glad to hear it. You know, when I get out of the Navy, I'm gonna open up my own studio. I'm gonna call it Portraits by Leon. You can make good bunny photography. You know, taking pictures of weddings, bar mitzvahs, even funerals. Funerals? Sometimes the family wants a final picture of the deceased. <laughs> I guess it's kind of tough to get a stiff to say cheese. <laughs> Listen, don't you ever go into town with the guys? I mean, all this studying is great, but you know what they say, all work and no play. I really wouldn't know where to go. I guess I'm kind of shy. Why? Because you're short and you wear glasses and you look like you're going to trick or treat? <laughs> so what? Listen, Chief Robinson's going to pick me up in a few minutes. Why don't you ride into town with us? Oh, I don't know. Skolnick, get out and have some fun. Look at you. You're starting to look like a piece of wax fruit. <laughs> Maybe I should. After all, I've been studying every single night. Then do it. Get ready. Do you want to freshen up? No, I'm ready. Skolnick, I think you'll have a better shot at it if you freshen up. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Oh, hi, Robinson. Ready to go? In a minute. I'm waiting for one of my men. Uh, Going to take him into town. Skolnick. Mercy mission. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you talking about? You know, we'll fix him up. Get him a date. Mercy mission. <laughs> oh, well, you really think you should get involved in it? I mean, isn't that Skolnick's business? Yeah, and business is bad. <laughs> Let me ask you something. When you were a kid in the Navy, did somebody fix you up with a date? Are you kidding? By the time I got in the Navy, there wasn't anything they could teach me. You know how old I was before I got involved with a woman? How old? Eleven. They thought I was... They thought I was a jockey. <laughs> All right, getting back to your man, Skolnick. What makes you so sure you can uh, find a chick that wants to go out with him? Are you kidding? When it comes to dames, I can face any challenge. Any challenge. Well, Chief, I'm ready. <laughs> and this is going to be a stiff one. Come on. <laughs> Here's looking at you, kid. 
You know where that comes from? Casablanca. Humphrey Bogart was always saying that to Ingrid Bergman in Casablanca. You know all those things, don't you, Lester? Pure B. All right, listen. Let me have the first crack at Jackie, okay? And if I strike out, then the next guy can try. Fair? Okay. Oh, here she comes, man. Good luck, huh? Thanks. <clears throat> so everything okay, guys? Would you like anything else? Well, I know what I'd like. Say, Jackie, yeah. Uh, why don't you let me take you away from all of this? Oh, you're not gonna start that again, are you? Oh, come on, Jackie. You ever been out with a sailor? Kowalski, show her the bumper sticker. <laughs> See? That's a bumper sticker for your car. I don't have a car. That's okay. Put her on your bumper anyway. <laughs> Skolnick, join the guys. Enjoy yourself. Thanks, Chief. Thanks for the lift. Hello, Pruitt. Oh, hi, Chief. Chief Robinson. Uh, right, sit, sit, sit. That's all right. We were getting ready to leave anyway. You can have our seats, sir. Well, you met my girl, Evelyn Thadburn? Hi! <laughs> I guess you have to get up slow so you don't get nosebleed. We're going now. We're going to go out and have some fun. What are you going to do? Go around town and unscrew street lights? <laughs> unscrew street lights? That's funny. Sheet, I don't know where he comes up with them. <laughs> unscrew street lights. Oh, shit. Come on. <laughs> Two flew over the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> Chuck, tell me something. I'll sit and over there with the guys gonna get skull nick a day. Where's the girl? Watch. Uh, Jackie, Jackie, over here. Jackie? Jackie the waitress? No, Jackie the Onassis. <laughs> of course, Jackie the waitress. So you're gonna pick skull nick up with Jackie the waitress? Who says it'll work? I mean, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Robinson, we're talking about a thirsty little horse. Will you let me handle it? Oh, hi, Jackie. How thanks? Ah, uh, come see, come saw. That's French, but my feet are killing me. <laughs> cute, Robinson, cute. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, didn't you once tell me that you wanted to be a professional photographer's model? Yeah. Why? Well, I got a great idea. I don't do nudes for publicity. No, it isn't that. I have the, this guy in my company. See, he goes to photography school, and I think you two ought to meet. And if he likes you, he'll bring his camera and shoot you all over the place. No nudes. I don't do nudes. No, it isn't that. You see, he'll take a lot of pictures of you, and you can use it for job interviews. What do you say? What's he like? Like a thirsty little horse. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, uh, nothing. He's here. He came in with us. He's sitting over there with the other sailors. He's the cute one. The one with the glasses. He looks like a movie star. If Kirk Douglas wore glasses, that's what he'd look like. Okay, I'll talk to him. But he better understand one thing. I know. No, no nudes. nudes. You're a regular dating computer, aren't you? That's right. Now I got Skull like a subject. Let's see what develops in the dark room. Uh -huh. Here you go. Uh, say, Jackie, uh, you never met Skullnick, did you? No, uh, how come you've never been around here before? Well, I'm in photography school. I spend a lot of time studying and practicing. Oh, yeah? You know, nobody's ever taken a decent picture of me. Really? I can't understand that. You have very nice skin tone, good contour, beautiful features. No kidding. Listen, I'd really like to talk to you some more about this. Um, I got through here in an hour. You want to meet me? Sure. <laughs> I don't have my camera, but I'll show you my light meter. <laughs> it's a date. Uh, listen, could you do me a favor? Sure. Could you take off your glasses and go like this? <laughs> you know, you do look a little like Kirk Douglas. <laughs> Skolnick? Skolnick, my man. <laughs> Fly me 
to the moon and let me play among the stars. Ba ba da ba 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 ba. ba. Um, you going out again tonight? Yep. That's every night this week. Don't tell me it's Jack. Ave Maria, I'll kill myself. It's Jackie, and don't kill yourself. Hey, Drew, guess what, man? Scone got himself a woman. <laughs> well, I declare. Well, I declare. Who is it? Jackie, the waitress at the Ship Ahoy bar? Isn't that too cold? Oh. I guess she got tired of the Army and the Marines, so now she's starting on the Navy. Oh. <laughs> Take that back. What? You heard me. Take it back. That's hey, right. Hey, 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 hey. Hold that. Hold that. What's going on here? Oh, Scone, I got upset at something I said. Well, the rest of you guys get back to work. Come here, Scone. Like... <laughs> What's your problem? Pruitt made an insulting remark about my girl, Jackie, and I didn't like it. You know, Jackie the waitress. She's your girl? <laughs> Actually, I've been seeing her every night this week. She's your girl? <laughs> Actually, I was going to ask you to do me a favor. What is it? Well, I never would have met Jack if you hadn't talked me into going into town that night. So since you're the one responsible, well... What? Jackie and I are going to get married. I want you to be the best man. <laughs> Well, it seems that the horse not only went to the water and drank, he fell in. You wanted to see me, Lieutenant Purple? Oh, yes, Chief. I'd like you to meet Mrs. Skullnick. Her son is in your barracks. Uh, this is Chief Sharkey, Mrs. Skullnick. How do you do, Mrs. Skullnick? <laughs> Chief, uh, Mrs. Skolnick just flew in from New York. It seems she got a very disturbing letter from her son telling her he was getting married. Just like that, a letter comes that he's going to marry some stranger. I guarantee you if his father was alive, he'd be turning over in his grave. <laughs> Mrs. Skolnick also understands that you are very much responsible for this marriage. Me? Yes. It's here in the letter how you took him to this place and he met this, this cocktail waitress. Yes, Mrs. Skolnick, now. Uh, I was going to put my head in the stove and turn on the gas, but I got electric. <laughs> Mrs. Skolnick, your son was working very hard. And I suggested he go into town and have some fun. I had no idea he was going to marry the first girl he met. And what about Rosalind? Rosalind? Rosalind Schiff. Oh, he didn't tell you they're engaged. I got the caterer. The hall is rented. He never told me. When is he supposed to get married? In three years, if we'll live and be well. If not four. <laughs> And you rented the hall already? You have to do it early these days, especially if you want a Sunday in June. <laughs> Mrs. Skolnick, I don't know what to say. I, I think what Mrs. Skolnick would like is for you to talk to her son. Since he looks up to you, maybe you can uh, advise him against this move. I, is that right, Mrs. Skolnick? If not, there'll be a scandal, and I'll be laying beside my Morris even before his insurance money runs out. <laughs> I'll be glad to talk to a son. But don't you think you should do that, Mrs. Skolnick? Me? I'm not important. I'm only his mother. The one who diapered him and dressed him and cooked for him and gave him his cod liver oil so he wouldn't grow up to be a, a shrimp like his father. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Skolnick, Chief Shark, you'd be very happy to talk to your son. Why don't you go into town and get settled there and, and relax? Relax. My Morris is relaxed, not me. <laughs> Chief, the Navy takes a dim view of its superiors getting involved in the personal lives of its men, a very dim view. What, what, do, you, what do you suggest I do? Well, I suggest you have a chat with this Skullnick and straighten out his rudder. The boy's obviously off his course, so you get him squared away, or else. Or else? Or else I'll have to report this entire incident 
to regimental headquarters and they'll take a dim view of it. A very dim view. <laughs> Carry on. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> my son Leon Skullnick. They told me that he lives here. Oh, yes, ma'am, he does, but the fact is civilians aren't allowed in here, especially women. There's some men's barracks. Young man, I was married for 30 years, and I raised a son of my own. What could I see in here that I didn't see in 30 years? <laughs> <laughs> Ma! What are you doing here? That's it. No hello, no kiss, just Ma, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, Mom. It's just that I'm so surprised to see you here. Well, what did you expect? You send me a letter that you're going to marry a girl you know five minutes. I jumped on the first airplane. But first, I went out to the cemetery to talk to your father. <laughs> Leon, we are both against it. Uh, please don't start, huh? Up front. Oh, Chief. Chief, this is my mother. Ma, this is Chief Sharkey. I already met the matchmaker. <laughs> Leon, we have a lot to talk about. Ma, you're really not supposed to be here. Uh, uh, he's right, ma'am. Why don't I meet you in town later with Skolnick? Skolnick? Skolnick is dead. <laughs> no, I meant your son. We'll meet in town later and talk. Yeah, Ma, I, I want you to meet Jackie, your future daughter-in-law. Oh. Jackie. All right, I'll meet Jackie. And then I'll meet your father. Thank God we have a double plot. <laughs> uh, Jackie, do you mind if I ask you something? What? How come you're gonna marry Skolnick? How come? He asked me. The second night we went out, he asked me and I said yes. That's it? That's enough? He just asked you? It's enough for Zsa, Zsa Gabor. They ask her and she says yes. <laughs> But you only know him a week. What if it doesn't work out? If it doesn't work out, we'll get a divorce. Just like Zsa, Zsa. <laughs> Right, darling. <laughs> you believe that, Robinson. Well, what are you going to do now? I'm going to write a letter to Dear Abby and sign it desperate in San Diego. <laughs> Don't you have any ideas, Robinson? Skullnick's mother's going to be here in a few minutes. All right, here's an idea. You want to get Jackie away from Skullnick, right? Right. Ask her to marry you. Check, please. No, no, wait. <laughs> now, look at how casual she is about marriage. Someone asks her and she says yes. If it doesn't work out, they get a divorce. Now, if she can do that to somebody, somebody can do it to her. It'll work, believe me. Oh, here come the Skullnicks now. I got a split. Good luck, mate. Mm. Good evening, Mrs. Skolnick. Uh, how are you feeling? How am I feeling? My son is marrying a cocktail waitress. I got one foot in the grave and the other is in Arab territory. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Skolnick, how come you're rushing into marriage? How do you know you're right for Jackie? Because she's right for me. For you, but not for me. Maybe for him. Oh, hi, Jackie. Hi. Uh, Jackie? I'd like you to meet my mother. She just came in from New York. Oh, how do you do, Mrs. Skolnick? How's New York? Also in trouble. <laughs> Jackie, we were just talking about you and Skolnick getting married. Don't you think you're rushing into it? What's the matter, Leon? Did you change your mind or say the word? It's not enough to marry somebody just because they asked you. What if I asked you? Well, you're too late. Leon, ask me first. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, Jackie. Do you mean to tell me that if Chief Sharkey asked you to marry him first, you would have said yes to him? What's the difference? I already said yes to you. What did you ask her? Leon, maybe she didn't understand the question. Uh, Mrs. Skullman, I think they'd both like to reconsider the whole thing. Right, kids? You could have told me yourself, Leon. You didn't have to bring your mother all the way from New York. My mother didn't have anything to do with this. You're the one who opened my eyes. Marrying someone just because they ask you is not enough. So I'll tell you what, Jackie. As far as I'm concerned, the whole thing is off. 
Right, as far as he's concerned, the whole thing is off. Oh, shut up, Sharky. <gasps> shut up? To a chief, you say shut up? <laughs> I'm saying it to all of you, and I'll tell you something else. I'm not waiting on this cable. Good. I wouldn't leave her a tip anyway. <laughs> Boy, I sure found out something just in time. You can be very proud of your son, Mrs. Skolnick. When you get right down to it, he knew what to say. He was beautiful. Ah, that's sweet. And so were you. Uh, please, please, Mrs. Skolnick, come in uniform. I took a chance to... Uh, Jackie. You're not upset about what happened last night, I mean, between you and Skolnick, are you? Just as well. We wouldn't have lasted a week. But what I am interested in is something you said. Me? What did I say? Remember? You said, what if you asked me to marry you? You mean you thought about it? <laughs> you and me? Oh. <laughs> Come on, Jackie. I mean, you're, you're a real nice kid and I like you, but you're certainly not my type and we wouldn't even last a week. You understand, don't you? Sure. <laughs> Good. Then can I have my beer? Of course. CPO Sharky's Dishonorable Discharge, all 37 episodes of the Don Rickles debacle before we yank him off the air and short wash him at 7 p.m. tonight. Stay tuned for another winning episode that's coming up.